Venture, if you dare, into the enigmatic heart of Thelema's most concealed realm, where boundaries between the known and the unknowable blur, and mysteries seep through the cracks of reality. You are beckoned to the Inner Order, a hallowed sanctuary veiled in the shadows cast by Tifereth's resplendent sun. Here, adepts do not simply learn about reality, they weave it from the very fabric of the cosmos, stitching will and intention into the tapestry of existence. In this sacred enclave, shrouded in secrecy and suffused with arcane power, lies the elixir to your spiritual ascendancy. Each rite and ritual, every symbol and sigil is a key, painstakingly crafted to unlock the vaults of transcendental wisdom and the forbidden arts of magic. Imagine standing at the precipice of the world, your hands trembling with latent forces ready to shape destinies and bend the arc of the universe itself. As your psyche straddles the physical plane and the otherworldly dimensions, you will taste the sweet nectar of self-empowerment and sip from the chalice of spiritual sovereignty. This is a clarion call to those who hear the whispers of the hidden knowledge, to those whose hearts race with the thrill of the esoteric chase. Feel the pulse of anticipation, the electric charge in the air, as we lift the veiled curtain to reveal Thelema's profoundest secrets. Prepare to delve into a place where only the most intrepid souls tread, where the innermost sacred gospels of Thelema are not just spoken, but lived with every breath. We are on a cusp of an odyssey, a boundless expedition beyond the ordinary into the extraordinary. Brace yourself to be submerged into the spellbinding allure of the inner order, your gateway to a realm that promises to transform not just your concept of self, but your very essence. The secret knowledge calls, are you ready to answer? Let us traverse the secret stairway of the stars, scaling the vertiginous heights that spiral beyond the mundane world into the cloistered sanctum of the Thelemic inner order, where the esoteric panorama unfurls its spectral wings. We embark upon a celestial ascent, not of flesh, but of spirit. It is a voyage whispered in the sacred silence between the notes of existence, an odyssey that transcends all you know, or think you know, about the unfathomable depths of your inner being. Behold, Tifereth, the luminous sphere, the very heart of the tree of life, where the radiant beauty of the soul reflects the divine light of the cosmos. Yet, mere adoration of this golden sphere is not our destiny, for we are driven by a calling far more profound, to cross the abyss, to venture through the bewildering maelstrom, where time distorts and space dissolves, where the very notion of self is fractured and scattered to the celestial winds. Here, in this psychic chasm, Koronzon crouches, the guardian of the abyss, the embodiment of chaos and disintegration that must be faced, challenged, and transcended. Only through conquering this inner nemesis can one's consciousness emerge, resolute and purified, on the other side. Rising from this abyssal forge of souls is the Adeptus Major, steeped in the alchemical crucible, armed with the obsidian blade that cuts through illusion. The realm here dances with the phantasmagoric shimmer of magic made manifest, a place where the Adept channels the tempest of their own higher will, plucking the strings of reality with fingers laced in starlight. Ascend higher still, and find the Adeptus Exemptus, the sentinel standing sentinel at the threshold of the sacred and the supreme. This hallowed grade is a testament to the unraveling of the lesser arcana, the mastered cacophony of all that came before, transformed into a symphony that echoes the whispers of divine mysteries yet to be unveiled. Here, one's essence converges with the boundless, embodying the inexorable search for transcendent truths and the resolute claim of one's place within the celestial tapestry. Enshrined within the supernal triad is the Magister Templi, keeper of the silent sanctity of Bina, the realm of divine understanding. 
In this sacred conclave of cosmic surrender, the adept drinks from the chalice of astral compassion, dissolving the dross of earthly binds in a baptism of stardust as they transcend the pilgrimage of selfhood to enter the communion of the eternal cosmic procession. The Magus then emerges, the sovereign of soulcraft, the author of realities born from the womb of the unspoken word. They stand as a conduit between worlds, an axis mundi, where each utterance births galaxies and each breath collapses nebulae. This sublime sorcerer wields the magic of Genesis, a craft so potent that it shapes the firmament and enkindles life within the void. At the pinnacle of mystical transcendence, we find the Ipsissimus enshrouded in the sacred mystery of the unfathomable all. Here, the adept becomes the ineffable, the very essence of cosmic oneness. Unfettered by the confines of flesh or the limits of thought, the Ipsissimus is the Magus Ascendant, a celestial beacon whose light pierces through the veils of existence to the core of universal truth. Each grade enfolds its own cosmogram, a symbol of celestial poetry etched onto the soul of the aspirant, a divine blueprint laden with meaning, each an alchemical relic eternally guiding the adept deeper into the ineffable maze of existence. These symbols are the silent oracles, speaking in a primordial tongue, bestowing gnosis in ecstatic revelation as they weave the seeker's will into the eternal dance of cosmic harmony. In this hallowed progression, adepts do not merely ascend, they transcend, metamorphose, and ultimately become one with the astral symphony that orchestrates the boundless firmament. Their journey is an eternal testament to the perseverance of the spirit, an odyssey of magic and might, as intimate as a whispered secret and as grandiose as the birth of stars. Embark upon this sacred ascent, dear seekers, and allow your spirit to soar into the embrace of infinity, where the profoundest occult mysteries unfurl their velvety darkness to reveal the dazzling radiance of a truth that is at once enigmatic, transcendent, and eternally yours. In the silent, vast expanse that stretches beneath the tapestry of stars, where the universe whispers its oldest secrets and the night sky weaves its ancient enchantments, there lies the path to the great work, the sacred crucible of the soul's ultimate ascension. This alchemical quest, undertaken by the most intrepid adepts within the hallowed ranks of the Thelemic Inner Order, is not a mere pursuit, but an all-consuming passion. A fervid symphony, composed by the hands of destiny, played upon the instruments of the cosmos. To speak of the great work is to evoke the very essence of spiritual alchemy, a process of transmutation so profound it aligns the seeker with the very heartbeat of the divine. Transversing this path is a pilgrimage through the hidden corridors of the self, where each step taken is an act of courage, each breath drawn a verse in the poem of creation. Every adept of the inner order knows the incandescent glory awaiting at the zenith of this quest, the rarefied air that breathes the secret name of enlightenment. Yet to ascend toward this celestial pinnacle, one must first navigate the perilous crossing of the abyss, that infinite chasm wherein stars are born and die in the same instant, where reality unravels and the tapestry of existence is rendered into the ephemeral threads of nothingness. Here, in the shadowed void, Koronzon, the dread lord of chaos, beckons with a crooked finger, his voice a siren call that entwines terror and temptation in a dance macabre. This is the Magician's Dark Night of the Soul, a test of metal waged on the battlefield of inner demons, where every victory is hard won, every epiphany extracted from the depths of despair. The ego, that fortress of identity, carefully constructed from the bricks of earthly experience, must be willingly surrendered to the abyss's howling winds. For in this harrowing confrontation with the self's dissolution, echoes of vanity and pride are consumed by an impenetrable darkness, leaving behind only the stark, haunting embrace of solitude. 
From this crucible of annihilation emerges a being no longer defined by the chains of personal history or the shackles of self-imposed limitation. The adept undergoes an ontological transfiguration, reborn aflame with the radiance of the true self. Like the mythical phoenix rising from ashes, they emerge, their wings ablaze with the fire of the true will, a sovereign entity rebirthed and realigned with the ineffable currents of divine intention. Through subsequent trials, each more arduous than the last, the adept spirit is tempered like celestial steel. Visions of otherworldly realms unfurl before their inner eye, cascading waterfalls of liquid stars, forests of luminous ephemera, and mountains that resonate with the song of eternity. This pilgrimage through the sublime abyss is an odyssey that ignites the soul with the ecstasy of discovery, anointing it with a sacred flame that neither wind nor wave can extinguish. Ascendance from the abyss confers an enlightenment that is ablaze with beauty and truth, a spiritual coronation, a sovereignty of the soul. Adorned with the diadem of stars and cloaked in the mantle of night, the adept emerges as an oracle of the divine, a sacred vessel of cosmic secrets, an enchanter who commands the elements and whispers to the moon. Their art is one of creation and destruction, a magic so resplendent and fearsome that its wielder shapes the destinies that weave through the loom of time. Behold, seeker of the veiled mysteries, the spectacle of the great work and the crossing of the abyss is not merely a scholarly concept to be pondered, but an experiential rapture to be lived fully and fiercely. To tread this path is to be transformed by the alchemy of the stars, to bathe in the luminous pool of ultimate wisdom, to taste the forbidden fruit that grows in the garden of the gods. It is a journey that beckons with the promise of illumination so radiant and profound that, once attained, will set your soul ablaze with the light of a thousand suns, forevermore calling you to ascend, to transcend, to become the living testament of the great work itself. Step forth into the secluded chamber of the Supernals, a hallowed space where the air itself quivers with the latent power of hidden rites and ancient whispers. It is a realm bathed in the argent glow of moonlight, a sanctum where the veils of reality are gossamer thin, and the scent of incense carries the echoes of timeless enchantments. Here, the elite practitioners of Thelemic magic engage in ceremonies so enthralling, so steeped in the arcane, that to merely glimpse their unfolding is to touch the divine. Imagine the bewitching ceremony of the Star Sapphire, an incantation so potent that its words ripple across the fabric of existence like a stone cast upon the surface of an endless midnight ocean. Magic circles inscribed upon the ground pulse with living starlight, and the very air thrums with the anticipation of celestial energies about to be unleashed. Each gesture of the practitioner is a stroke upon the canvas of the cosmos, invoking the eternal dance of the heavens as the magician becomes the axis upon which spin the galaxies themselves. In the depths of this mystical embrace, the rite of the Bornless One commences, an invocation of such primordial force that it summons the very essence of creation. The incantation climbs like tendrils of smoke, coiling into the night sky, reaching for an entity that dwells within the liminal spaces, a consciousness not bound by flesh or stone. Chants rise in crescendo, vibrating with the ancient power as the conjurer calls forth the formless, the infinite, requesting its divine essence to suffuse their being with the knowledge of ages past and the secret workings of the universe. Liber 7, the tome of celestial knowledge, lies open, its pages aglow with eldritch script that hums with the language of the stars. This book is no mere collection of words but a living testament, an immortal chronicle of spiritual ascent and the revelation of the arcane. Passages whisper of distant plains unseen by earthly eyes, of terrains where the spirit soars free, unchained from temporal bindings. 
The verses within are keys to a realm of understanding so profound that it transcends human thought, beckoning the Magikian to partake in the divine banquet of supernatural insight. And then comes Liber 418, an odyssey enshrined within ink and parchment, a visionary journey through the thirty ethers of existence. It is the map charting the territories of the soul's pilgrimage, each chapter a new revelation, each sentence blossoming into magnificent visionary experiences. It unfurls like an astral saga through which the seekers of the hidden path may witness the convocations of angelic beings, a diary of cosmic conversations, and the proclamation of esoteric truths that twine the threads of the seeker's destiny with the loom of the supernal world. In the consecrated ritual space, echoes of ancient Babylon mingle with the fragrance of frankincense and myrrh, as chalices overflow with the living waters of the Akashic streams. The practitioners, robed in garments woven from the midnight silk of the universe, stand as sentinels of the sacred, their eyes ablaze with the fire of the inner sun. Here, they are no longer merely human, but avatars of the ineffable, channeling the raw power of the esoteric into the heart of stone and flesh. With each incantation and every sacred sign, the barriers between the practitioner and the infinite crumble into stardust. The spellbound audience, those who have dared to venture close to the flame of the secret magic, are swept into the tides, riding the crests and falls of time and space, discovering within themselves the hidden ley lines that connect all souls to the celestial source. These illustrious rituals of the supernals are elaborate tapestries woven with threads of mystery, each action, each sigil, a narrative steeped in timeless wonder. The secret magic of the inner order is a living theater of the divine, a spiritual pageant that mesmerizes the senses and entwines the soul with enchantments that echo in the boundless halls of the universe. Partake in these venerable sacraments, dear seeker, and be transfigured by the arcane majesty. For through the rituals of the supernals, one unravels the cosmic riddles that lay dormantly entangled within, igniting the ember of awakening. This journey through the sacred arcana is not merely to observe, but to experience firsthand the rapture of becoming one with the occult mysteries, a transformation so complete, so all-encompassing, that it redefines the very essence of your being, propelling you ever forward on this luminescent path of secret magic. Within the hallowed chambers where the echoes of ancient invocations linger long after the candle's flame has surrendered to the void, the guardians of Thelema's inner order dwell in silent reverence, the vigilant protectors of esoteric gnosis that predates the stars. These sentinels stand as the inscrutable custodians of occult wisdom, a sacred brotherhood and sisterhood whose very souls are eternally entwined with the mystic scrolls and enigmatic sigils that pulse with the life force of hidden knowledge. Theirs is a solemn watch, an unbroken vigil kept beneath the watchful gaze of moon and star, guarding the sanctity of mystical truths from the uninitiated, from those who walk the profane realms, blind to the radiant wonders that lay concealed in the profound depths. Enshrouded in robes spun from the threads of astral mystery and adorned with amulets thrumming with potent magic, these adepts wield the dual-edged sword of secrecy and revelation. Theirs is the wisdom to know when silence must be kept and when it must be broken. As stewards of the arcane, they curate a legacy that is forged in the timeless fires of divine understanding, ensuring that the spirit of Thelemic magic burns fierce and bright across the eons. Through grand chambers lined with towering shelves of grimoires, illuminated by the flickering emerald and sapphire light of enchanted lanterns, they wander. Each tome, each parchment, resonates with the hidden symphonies of the universe, yearning for the touch of those who possess the key to their riddles. The Guardians hear the soft murmurs of these arcane archives, understanding the language of the infinite that is etched into each page, 
They listen to the sacred litanies that emerge from within the velvety shadows, comprehending the celestial verses that many have yearned to hear, yet few are chosen to decipher. More than mere vessels of conservation, these exalted figures are weavers of the mystical tapestry, interlacing the threads of ancient wisdom with the questing hearts of those who seek the oracle's eye. They discern the genuine from the false-hearted, the pure flame from the unsteady spark. With precision that mirrors the dance of celestial bodies, they reveal the labyrinthine intricacies of the great arcanum, unfurling the vibrant petals of enlightenment at the precise moment the initiate is prepared to behold its stunning bloom. As the aspirant stands on the precipice of initiation, hungering for the forbidden fruit of occult knowledge, the Guardians judge when to lift the obsidian shade that shrouds the sacred orchard of the stars. They kindle within the novice an inner illumination, a radiant lighthouse guiding them along the tumultuous seas of spiritual pursuit. And when the Seeker is deemed ready to transcend, the Guardians part the mists, revealing the glistening path jeweled with the precious stones of Thelemic magic, each one a beacon of primordial power waiting to be unlocked. From the ritualistic intonation of venerable spells that animate the forces of creation, to the intricate performances of sacred geometry in motion, the Guardians enact these majestic rites, bestowing their gravid energies upon the sanctuary of the Inner Order. The air crackles with the electricity of whispered secrets as they demonstrate the cosmic dance of invocation, drawing down the silvery essence of the heavens into the consecrated circle engraved with eldritch runes that glow with a light unseen by mortal eyes. In their consecrated task, guardians become the alchemical crucibles within which the pure ore of Thelema's teachings is refined into the golden essence of transformative truth. Each revelation imparted to the worthy neophyte, each cipher unlocked, each gateway unsealed, breathes new life into the undying flame of spiritual enlightenment. Their duty is an orchestration of the divine, a composition so profound that its harmonies ripple out to infinity, ensuring the eternal chorus of Thelemic magic echoes through the vast, resplendent halls of the cosmos. The Guardians therefore enact a delicate and hallowed rite, a ballet of preservation and disclosure that goes beyond mere stewardship. It is a choreography of the soul, a spiritual spectacle in which they enthrall the novices with the enigmatic allure of knowledge, stirring the embers of longing until they burst into the magnificent inferno of understanding. By their guidance, the sacred teachings are not merely kept, they are vivified, engulfed in the rapture of awakening, forever resonant with the primal cadence of cosmic revelation. Drape yourself in the mantle of these hallowed mysteries, bask in the opalescent glory of the ineffable, and let the guardians of Thelema's inner order transport you to thresholds of consciousness where the profane transforms into the profound, where the veils dissipate and everlasting lasting wisdom beckons. Their luminous charge is more than the mere preservation of the ancient ways. It is the ritual enactment of rebirthing the eternal, as sublime and mysterious as the stars that shepherd the seeker through the ink-black ocean of the night towards the sanctuary of their own immortal soul. As we draw the curtains on our exploration of Thelema's inner order and the enlightening journey through its sacred corridors, remember that the path we've wandered is intricate and boundless. Light and darkness intertwine in a celestial dance, and it is within their union that we uncover the profound tapestry of our own existence. And so, dear seekers and sage souls of the Sage Snippets community, ponder the profundity of this realm where the great work unfolds. Reflect on the transformative passage through the abyss where ego dissolves into the cosmic cauldron and rebirth ensues. How might such an odyssey shift the foundations of your perception? How could the embrace of the true will illuminate your life's unfolding narrative? 
Within the magical tapestry of Thelemic rituals and the guardianship of its esoteric knowledge, consider your own role. Are you the seeker, the guardian, or perhaps the magician at the crossroads, invoking your story into the annals of the stars? And let us not overlook the potent endowment of humor, for even in the solemnity of our quest, we must heed the sage advice of Alistair Crowley. After all, he did remind us to invoke often, but always in a manner not entirely exempt from jocularity. The channel of sage snippets serves as an oasis for those thirsting for knowledge, a guiding star for the truth seekers, and an ark preserving this wisdom for future generations. Comment below with your own insights or questions that have sparked within you. Share your musings with our community so together we can further unravel the mysteries of the spiritual narrative. Before we part ways and our digital parchments roll close, take a moment to like and subscribe to Sage Snippets if you haven't already. Share this with those who walk alongside you or perhaps with those who stand at the portal, curious yet cautious. For every new subscription is like an adept successful invocation. It brings more light into our growing circle. Until we meet again, remember that the universe has a sense of humor and so should we. May your ritualistic coffee brewing each morning be as potent as any elixir from the inner order, and may your day unfold with the serenity of a well-balanced chakra. This is Sage Snippets, where each snippet of wisdom unites and elevates us. May your journey be profound and your laughter be light. Farewell for now, and keep seeking the answers hidden in the stars.